Sitting on a bed of solid dolomite, we have this lovely formation of cobalt and calcite crystals with some, some white calcite uh, dusting them. Uh, often associated, I also find heterogenite. We'll look under magnification. The heter heterogenite would be uh, a black to silver metallic botoids growing usually on top of the uh, cobalt and calcite. Quite exquisite from a, uh, if I may say so, well trimmed out specimen. So it was one of my trimming successes. Hasn't been sawed. Very, very difficult to work with this matrix because you find the dolomite, the, the holding matrix is very, very hard. And if you, if you put a hammer to it, you'll, you'll find that the crystalline sections usually break. I actually see absolute perfection here in this whole section. I don't see any damage. Uh, no contact there, so a pretty good quality piece. I think with cobalt and calcite or Zalrosa, as some may know it, one can be rather fussy, um, just uh, from a quality point of view. Quality needs to be pretty good because these are readily available and quite abundant. Um, look at that, go around like that. Let's go into this bug. Let's see how close we can get into that bug. Okay, that is bit of overexposure. Just go in there. There we go. Let's see how close we can get. All the way from, I suspect, the Kakanda deposit in the Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. Yet, uh, uh, please note that the mines are in proximity, so the um, general area would be the, uh, the, the Katanga Copper Crescent, where most of the mining takes place in the uh, uh, Republic.